it's important to set your your MIDI in and MIDI out, otherwise it will not work. So I've used the USB Uno MIDI out uh, on the GT8 editor. Let me go to our editing patch, editing tab, where it gives you the basic rundown. We got we can edit our patch level, our master BPM of the thing. We can set what what patch it's actually going to go to. Um, then as we see, we've got channel A and channel B. These are our preamps where we can edit what amp we're using with the gain base settings, the speaker type, where the mark is, the mark position, mark distortion, mark level, direct level. It's got everything there. Almost looks like you can reach out and grab those buttons. That's the guitar. That's a guitar clean without any preamp on. I always keep the noise suppressor on because it gets out of hand with distortion on, on my single coil guitars. Uh, let's select an amp. There we go. I prefer the JC120 with a little bit of gain uh, up my mids because I'm playing a strat. You can also adjust your solo levels there. When we look at overdrive, we've got all the various different distortions as it is on the pedal, but once again, it's easier. You can just almost reach out and grab and turn them. Those options. We can also use our compressor or limiters. We can edit it. It doesn't sound too great. We can EQ it. It's similar to the similar to the bus EQ pedal. We also have our effects chain. We can just click and drag and change the order of any of the effects change as we set them up. You can add reverb. I always like a bit of reverb. And again, we can edit it. As it is. On the same page, we can turn our wire on and off or choose which wire we use or edit our chorus. The delays are very nice on the GT8. We can set it up again. It's just like having the pedal in front of you with the editor. It's, it's so very easy. Kudos to the guy who designed it. It really makes life easier to play. FX1 and FX2 are as they are on the pedal. You just choose which one you wish to work with. We'll choose anyone, the tremolo. And you can change it as you play as well. Even with a feedbacker, we can adjust. It's just like having the pedal in front of you. All the buttons change and makes life so much easier to work with. Let's 
play with the slicer a bit. There are drop down menus on all the effects that will help you choose which patterns or what settings can be used. Let's try the phaser. I'm going to change the, the order of the chain so that we can play around with FX1 and FX2, the order. This is with the slicer into the phaser. Let's change that order around. We're going to put the phaser into the slicer. It's a very easy software to use. We can also name our patch whatever we wish. And it can send it down to the GT8 by clicking our little green arrow there. We are able to save the patches as a system file. It'll have the SYX extension so that we can share them to our online mates, etc. Uh, I've saved some. We can load those and put them on to the GT8 very easily. There we go. There we go, that's another pre-saved patch. This is another one that I played around with. Sounds much better on a Les Paul. There we go, great easy software to use, really helpful with the GT8, it makes it a lot less confusing.